Hi everyone, Rob from RunAI here. I wanted to record a quick demo to show RunAI's Ray integration. So Ray has a few capabilities to run workloads within Kubernetes. There's the ability to deploy a Ray head node and workers, and then distribute code throughout these workers whenever you want to process code. You also have the ability to deploy Ray workers in an on-demand fashion as you want to execute a specific code. And then you can have those workers terminate and basically pass their resources back to the cluster. The scenario that I'll show in the demo works within either case of, of leveraging Ray. So please keep that in mind. What I want to show during this demo is the ability to provide run AI's quota management and fairness scheduling capabilities in conjunction with Ray. So you'll see on screen now in our overview, we have a user from team A who is allocated 16 GPUs, but their Ray cluster has actually grown to the full size of the compute that we have available within this cluster. If we look at how we want to split up the compute from a business perspective, we have two teams here, team A and team B and they're both guaranteed half of the GPU compute at any point in time. However, Team B isn't running any of their workloads. So what happens in a scenario where Team A is saturating the cluster with their job and Team B needs access to resources? Let's walk through that now. As I come to the CLI, I'll run a few commands from the left window. On the top right, I'm just doing a watch command looking at the pods that are running for Team A. There, you'll see the head worker of the auto scale Ray cluster, as well as all of the workers. On the bottom right, you'll see the same in respect to Team B, once I run a job there. So, I'm going to apply a YAML file here, and that's going to deploy an auto scaling Ray cluster for Team B. So, by default, this YAML file is only going to deploy for workers and each one of those workers will have a resource request and request two GPUs. So we expect once I apply this YAML to consume eight GPUs for this particular Ray cluster. So I'll go ahead and apply this YAML. We'll see that the Ray cluster autoscaler for Team B has been created. You see it here on the bottom right, where it's created the head process as well as four worker processes that are currently in a pending state. Those are in a pending state because we have to reclaim resources from Team A's job, which is currently consuming the full cluster. The way we do that is the Run AI scheduler will actually go out and reclaim those resources from the workers that are running from Team A's auto scaling Ray cluster. So you see a few of these pods are terminated and back in the pending state. That's actually the scheduler going out and reclaiming those resources. Once we reclaim those resources, you actually see the Ray cluster autoscaler from Team B starting to run. You'll see reflected on the dashboard in a second that Team B will have reclaimed eight of those GPUs and now they're leveraging about 25% of the GPUs within the cluster. They are technically guaranteed access to half of the GPUs. So whether they want to scale this manually or deploy this cluster initially with their guaranteed or assigned number of GPUs, we can go in after the fact here and scale the number of worker processes that we want let's scale the number of workers up to eight and what that will do is cause us to reclaim more GPUs from team A and pass them rightfully back to team B. So again you'll see the additional workers added that are now in a pending state and you'll see a few of the pods from team A in a terminating state. Again, this will be the scheduler logic going in and reclaiming this compute from Team A. So really what's happening behind the scenes here, end users are able to submit and interact with their Ray clusters. 
exactly how they would on a normal basis within Kubernetes. The special piece here is Run AI providing the resource guarantees. So if you have a large Kubernetes cluster shared between multiple end users and researchers, and they want to run their Ray clusters, you have the ability to fairly share the resources based off of how you have your projects and quotas set up. Run AI will automatically allow you to deploy and support these QBray objects. And all these objects will fall into Run AI's quota management and platform. So at the end of the day, you'll have the ability to run a large Kubernetes cluster and fairly share resources between different teams that are leveraging Ray clusters to submit their workloads. That was a quick overview of Run AI's Ray cluster integration. Please reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.